Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for the 28th of May. Oh my goodness. Month's already over almost. So, some of you um, may be leaving behind a difficult situation, preparing to leave, but since I haven't called for it, I'm putting it back. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. The energies um, can be vice versa, so if you resonate with one side more than the other, um, just put the message where it fits. If it doesn't fit at all, check out your other signs. If those don't fit either, it's just not your message. So, let's get started here. Alright, Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for our Earth Science for Tuesday in Love? Alright, your guys' is first card out in your energy, Earth Science, is the Five of Swords. The person you are dealing with is the Seven of Cups. The energy coming in for you guys within the next couple days. It's coming in for our earth signs. Oh my goodness. Way too many. I'm going to take the only one that flipped over though. And that's the Prince of Wands. Your advice is the Queen of Cups in reverse. And the outcome that is... The outcome that can change due to free will, but what uh, what does the outcome look like? All right, the King of Pentacles and the Prince of Swords came out both for you guys. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, clarified with the Sun in the upright, and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. The High Priestess is under that with the Ten of Cups in reverse, so... The need to go within, the need to, um, you already know what you have to do to get past this, this situation um, that you seem to be stuck in here. Let's see what we all got. Hope you can see those okay. So we'll start with your shared energy. Coming, the need to end a cycle um, regarding your family, family members, uh, your spouse, long-term commitment, people, um, you know, your children, grandchildren, you know, however, whatever family situation right now, um, there's a need to complete a cycle here. Um, there's a need to let things, uh, like get things out in the air to resolve the problem or to move on from the problem. One of the two, but, um, I, this is like silence. Nobody's talking about it. It's like the elephant in the room. Um, there's a cold energy that uh, that everyone's ignoring just to, because it's easier maybe, because it's safer. But um, this problem within the family, within the home life needs to be addressed. Um, there could have been some infidelity in the past, some cheating, um, some deceitful energy against the family or against your partner or your partner against you um, because things are being illuminated. The things that were done in the dark in the past, I hope that's not too glary for you guys. The things that were done in the past here, that were done in the dark, that were deceitful, they're coming to light. The universe is shedding some light on the situation to uh, to allow this cycle to close, to allow this cycle to end, to allow you to move forward and move on past that energy. You could be feeling pretty defensive here, um, Earth signs, with the Five of Swords in the upright. But this is the need to, um, how do I want to say that? Instead of staying in a situation where nobody's winning, where people are getting hurt. Wow, the bottom of the deck is the five of swords too. But instead of staying in a position or a relationship or a situation where people are continuously getting hurt by things said, um, actions done, um, it's time to think of yourself, to put yourself first, do what's best for you, and walk away. Um, and I do see you doing that, Earth Science. You are um, taking your heartache with that Three of Swords. Because whether you're the one that was doing the, deceive, the deceiving or you're the one that was deceived, it still breaks your heart to walk away from this family situation. It breaks your heart to have to leave behind what no longer is working for you. Um, so you are making the choice, leaving the Two Swords in the ground. That's your decision. 
taking the three of swords and walking away, walking away from this connection so you can heal, doing what's best for you. Let's see why the five of swords is here for you, earth signs. There's a five of swords here for earth. Whoa. Way too many. One card for the five of swords. Thank you. All right, the queen of cups in reverse. So you're walking away from a situation um, where there's some, you know, where the, the affection, the, the passion, the, uh, the connection between the two of you has just fizzled out. Um, so you are walking away from a situation um, where the love is not the same. It's not that same loving feeling that you need. Um, not saying there's not love there, but it's not, you're not in love with this person anymore. It could be very emotional on both sides with the queen of cups. They're very emotional, very, um, up and down about what they want to do. This could be you as well, but there is going to be a lot of emotions running high and the death card just came out. So the need for this to come to an end is now, um, it's time to purge and release this situation where you know that, that there's more out there for you. The person that you're dealing with um, is very confused. They could be um, confusing you on purpose. Let's see. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of confusion with the person that you're dealing with. They don't know what they feel anymore either. Um, there's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of deceit within this relationship and they're just unsure of what they want to do but that's becoming more clear to them they are going to um, walk away they do have options as well so they are going to complete this major life cycle um, within this relationship and and walk away they are going to um, see what what else is out there for them what other options they have um, with the uh, world card, this is a major life cycle, the ending of a marriage, the closing of a company. I mean, this is like a big cycle. It's not just a 10. Um, those are like minor life cycles. This is a major life cycle coming to a close. So they're putting the confusion aside. They're making a decision to walk away from this and checking out their other options. What's coming in for you, earth sign, is uh, could be a fire sign because you have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck right here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If not um, a fire sign, it's just somebody who's very passionate. Um, it's coming in for you, coming in very fast, um, offering you this big offer of love. This, this, like this person loves you or has the potential to love you in ways you've never been loved before. Um, they could be kind of flighty. They could be in and out. You, this could be you to them as well. But the 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 possibility for big time love is coming in with this person um somebody who's very passionate like just goes out and like they're adventurous does things on a whim and that's what is going to draw you into this person like you admire their carefree uh wow you got the sun and the queen of wands at the bottom too um you you appreciate their like carefree attitude but yet when it comes down to it they get down to business and can work as well like, it's just, it's just, this person's going to take you off, like, knock you off your feet when you're trying to get out of this um, sad, this person's going to bring you in love and happiness as you're getting out of this sad um, situation that you're dealing with. Spirit's advice for you is to get your emotions in balance, to um, evaluate what it is that you truly want and let go of the situations that are no longer filling you full of love. Because you have this coming in for you, love and passion. Um, let go of whatever is not bringing you that loving feeling. But most importantly, get your emotions in check so you can um, decide where you want to offer your love, where you want to put your love. You can't decide who you want to be with if you, your emotions aren't in check. They're kind of roller coastery right now. Um, and there's some fear of walking away from this situation due to finances for some of you but most importantly just evaluate evaluate what you're truly feeling in your heart there is a need for that because one day you want this one day you want that it's time to um it's time to do a checks and balances and decide where it is that you want um and to no longer invest in a situation where 
the love isn't appreciated, accepted, or returned. Um, in your outcome, if you follow the advice, you're going to find that stability again. You're going to find your feet. You're going to find um, your place in the world. Let's see why the King of Pentacles is here. Yeah, with the Three of Wands. So your outcome, um, your ships are going to come in. When you make a choice and you stick with your choice, you're going to find that balance. You're going to find that um, stability. And you're going to find that many blessings are going to come towards you. You could be at a distance from somebody. But they're waiting for you to cut yourself out of a situation, for you to go through this transformation. And once you do, they'll, the distance between the two of you will close. Um, and they will come in with those ships. Um, you are getting... Uh, this is... This can all happen very fast because you're going to um, find out the truth or somebody that you're dealing with is finding out the truth. Let's see what that is. Yeah. Okay. So the truth will set you free. It is true. Um, it's time to be honest with this person about how you're feeling. Um, it's, it's like it's there, but nobody's saying it. Like I said, it's the elephant in the room. You're going to come in and deliver the truth, um, bringing you to this energy where you can start investing in yourself, start investing in your own happiness, um, become that independent, strong person again with confidence. And when you do that, when you um, tell, speak your truth about how you would like to focus on yourself and end the situation with uh, the person that you are in a commitment with, it's going to bring you in a lot of new opportunities, new passion, um, opportunity for big creation. Uh, this is a gift. I mean, these are the best two cards to have in a love reading. Passion and love and the uh, um, opportunity to have it magnified. Big time love. Um, bottom of the deck now is the Seven of Cups. So um, this person could have felt like they were your soulmate or you could have thought that. But um, this cycle is ending. Um, bringing in your true life partner um, with that Four of Wands. Most definitely could be a Twin Flame. Doesn't have to be with that 1111, but it is going to bring you in stability, a new home. You guys could be, uh, yeah, getting a new house, moving locations, most definitely. So it's just really time to get your emotions uh, figured out. You need to take the time to listen to yourself because you're going through a, a purging uh, time right now, and the time is now, or you're going to miss your chance to complete this cycle and you're going to have to do this lesson all over again and nobody wants that nobody wants to have to go through this all over again so it's time to figure those out decide where you want to um, place your love and in your future you have um, some big time love coming in with big opportunities for creation for um, you know love for a new home I mean just all sorts of new things coming in for you that have the opportunity and the potential to be huge for you. But you got to figure out where you want to be first. Or it's or it can't come in for you until you release this. Until you let this go and purge it. This can't come in for you. So find your feet. Find your stability. Find where you want to put your love. And um, do it before you have to complete this cycle all over again. Because you don't want that earth sign. So, Alright guys, I hope you have a beautiful Tuesday. God bless.